Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station in Tel Aviv TV. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis calls on believers to take advantage of summer vacations and listen to God. Patriarch Theophilus III carries Christian concerns to U.S. President Biden. Patriarch Pizzabella participates with the Council of Heads of Churches in Galilee in spiritual sports. We also have Deacon Yanal al a new priest at the altar of the Lord. Welcome back. During His Holiness Pope Francis' meeting with a delegation of pilgrims and believers gathered in St. Peter's Square, he called on the audience to take advantage of the time of the summer vacation and said, Let us stop and listen to Jesus where it is difficult to find free periods of reflection. And for many people, they work at a rapid and arduous space, where summer can be a precious occasion to open to the gospel and read it slowly and without haste. His Holiness added, Let the pages of the gospel talk to us and make us wonder in which direction our lives are going and whether they are in line with the words of the Lord Jesus or not. We also wonder whether we indulge in our work at the beginning of each day or are we looking for inspiration in the Word of God. He added that if we leave our house in the morning with the Word of Jesus in mind, the day will be imprinted with this Word that can guide our actions according to the will of the Lord. In the end, His Holiness asked of the Virgin Mary to help us choose the good chair that may never be taken away from us. During his meeting with President Biden, the Patriarch of Jerusalem and all works of Palestine and Jordan, Theophilus III, stressed the need for active U.S. intervention to protect the Christian presence in the Holy Land, especially the city of Jerusalem, which is witnessing an unprecedented attack on churches, clerks, Christian citizens, and attempts by extremist association to seize the properties of Babel Khalil. During his recent visit to the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem, his bitidu also spoke to the President about the restrictions of freedom of worship by these associations, and the denial of access of Muslims and Christians to their places of worship. During the meeting, His Excellency explained the dangers of Christian immigration, especially from Jerusalem, noting that maintaining the Christian presence is an important human and cultural message. The Heads of Churches Council organized a prayer and spiritual sport for the members of the Council at the Mother of the Redeemer Institute in Galilee, where it was attended by Patriarch Pierre Battista Pizzabella, Patriarch of Jerusalem for the Latins, as well as several bishops and priests from various Catholic churches from all Palestinian territories. This sport is one of the fruits of the Pastoral Synod of the Catholic Church in the Holy Land. The sport included spiritual lectures delivered by Bishop Salem Sfer, Bishop of the Maronite Church of Cyprus, interspersed with times of exchange of ideas and experiences. With the authorization of His Eminence Archbishop Joseph Jbara, Archbishop Yusuf Matta, Metropolitan of Galilee for the Melkite Roman Catholics, presided over the Divine Liturgy, during which the rank of priestly ordination for Deacon Yinal Awabde was held to be a priest on the altars of the Archdiocese of Jordan. The St. George Cathedral of the Melkite Catholics in Umm celebrated this spiritual occasion in which bishops, priests, deacons, nuns, and crowds of believers participated. In the Sermon of the Mass, Bishop Matta gave advice to the new priest, which centered on the message of St. Paul the Apostle to his disciple Timothy. After the new priest wore the priestly robe, the people and the clergy shouted, Worthy, worthy. <laughs> And after the Divine Mass, the new priest gave a speech thanking everyone who stood by him in his preparatory career until he reached his priesthood to offer himself to serve the temple and parish of the Lord. On a related note, Father Rina al held the first ceremonial Mass at the Roman Catholic Church in Marj al-Hamam in the presence of several priests and a gathering of parishioners. His Excellency Archbishop Christophorus Atallah, Metropolitan of Jordan for the Greek Orthodox, ordained Brother Milad Rizq as an evangelical deacon in the Church of the Ascension in Khalda. 
During the liturgy, His Eminence called the newly ordained to serve the Church of Christ with love and devotion and said, The Church invites you to work hard in humility, which in turn will teach you all the virtues to obey the Church and its teachings. His Eminence was joined in the service by several priests in the presence of the faithful deacons and priests. The parish of the Church of Pius X in Zarqa celebrated the granting of the First Communion and Confirmation to its sons and daughters, where the ceremonial Mass was presided over by Bishop Jamal Abbas, Latin Bishop of Jordan, in the presence of several priests and nuns and a large gathering of believers. At the beginning of the ceremony, the parish priest Father Yusuf Rizq welcomed Bishop Abbas and said, Our sons and daughters will come to the First Communion for the first time, and Jesus will be their companion in this life and the Holy Spirit will come upon them, so that be faithful soldiers of Christ and His Church. In his sermon, Bishop Abbas focused on the importance of obtaining sacred secrets, urging the parents to follow the march of faith for their children to grow up in the arms of the Church. At the end of the ceremony, His Eminence honored some members of the parish for their distinguished service in the Church. As for Jesus, he said, Let the children come to me and do not prevent them, because for such is the Kingdom of God with hearts filled with joy, love of service, and sincerity. The patrons of Angel Michael in Marka and the Virgin Mary in Hashmi, region in Amman, prepared a summer program for their children. The program included various spiritual, scouting, and sports activities that brought joy to the hearts of children. The work of the club was accomplished with the vigor of the scouts of the two parishes and the light of the world brotherhood, and under the patronage of the priest of the two parishes, Father Jihad Ammari. Coinciding with the Orthodox Church's celebration of St. Peter and Paul's Day, St. Nicholas Church in Marka held the first Orthodox Summer Festival for children in the Church Square. More than 200 children of Sunday schools from the churches of Zarqa, Abu Nsir, Orthodox Renaissance Society, and Marka participated in the festival that was attended by several priests and a large gathering of invitees. The festival featured a fun show by Team Misha Show and a face painting. The Jordanian Charity Society provided dinner meals to all attendees, and at the end of the festival, gifts were distributed to the children. In Amman Permanent Camp on the airport road south of the capital, a group of scouts and guides of the Latin Patriarchate organized a scout meeting of 150 individuals and commanders and choirs. The camp, which was held under the slogan, I am a hero, and lasted three days, focused on many aspects including intellectual, physical, social, and national, all aimed at refining the personality of the individual and training them on how to rely on themselves in various circumstances and conditions. The International Catholic Conference of Girl Guides concluded in Cali, Colombia, with the participation of the Jordanian delegation, which included the leaders Aida Sous, Middle East team official, Majid Haddad and Feirouz Boshe, representing the General Authority of Latin Scouts and Guides in Jordan. It was held with the participation of the priests, the spiritual guides participating in the conference. The election of Commander Aida Sous was renewed in her current position for an additional three years, and Commander Feirouz Boshe joined as a member in charge of Jordan in the Middle East team. The regional office of Nursat Satellite Channel in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, represented by its director Dr. Basim al Sam'an and the team, mourns the death of Pastor Luay Rizak Haddad, Director General of the Foundation of the Holy Lands for the Deaf and Blind, and former Secretary General of the Council of Heads of Churches, who moved to the heavenly glories after life spent obeying God and serving the Church. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis calls on believers to take advantage of summer vacation and listen to God. Patriarch Theophilus III carries Christian concerns to U.S. President Biden. Patriarch Pizzabella participates with the Council of Heads of Churches in Galilee in spiritual sports. Deacon Yinal Awabde and you priest at the altar of the Lord. For more information, please visit our website www.nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.